And now, your Midday Arklamas News Update. Good Wednesday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your Midday Arklamas Update. In Arkansas, two Union County towns will have new leaders in City Hall on January 1st. But the outgoing mayors aren't going anywhere as they will both be involved in the community. NBC 10's Scarlett Gully has those details. We now know who will serve the next four years in the mayoral seat in both Union County towns of El Dorado and Smackover. But what lies ahead for current mayor Veronica Smith Creer and Bobby Neal? I sat down with both elected officials to understand their plans for the future. Take some time off and, and relax and then I'm going to probably do some volunteer work for the hospital or any organization that needs volunteer work. Neil, serving as mayor of Smackover for 16 years, says he completed every task he set out to do. Police protection, fire protection, water and sewer. And so far we've had all of that. I just enjoyed every bit of it. I, I just love living here and I love the people here. Veronica Creer spent the last four years serving as the mayor of El Dorado. She says stepping down from mayor will give her more time to focus on her other passions. I have some things in place, uh, some things that I've been working on that I can devote some extra attention to. I do know that there are a few books in me that I had started at one time that want to make sure that I can finish those and really spending more time with family. Creer hopes the El Dorado community will keep her historical impact at the forefront. I am the first woman and the first person of color to be elected to this office in the city of El Dorado and hopefully I will not be the last. Hopefully there were other women and people of color who were inspired and I'm hoping that that is something that is never forgotten about Veronica Smith Creer. Nil and Creer will remain in office until December 31st, which marks the end of their current four-year term. Reporting in Union County for your Arklamas News Source, I'm Scarlett Gully. Well, the Monroe City Council votes to adopt a resolution that would allow ULM's golf team to train on a new facility. The university hopes this will attract more student athletes. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi tells us how this will benefit the sports program. The old Selman Field golf course located by the Monroe Regional Airport would no longer be used by the city. This comes after the Monroe City Council voted to approve the resolution that would allow ULM to have access to the golf facility. The course will be used to train the ULM golf team. The university hopes this will attract more student athletes and provide new programs for the general public. The agreement will go into effect once the Louisiana Department of Transportation gives its approval. Once they do, ULM will have access to this area for three years. Meanwhile, the city will not incur any cost or responsibilities while the agreement is active. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Valerie Moravi for Local News That Matters. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather from the most experienced meteorologist in the Arklamas, Jared Floyd. Increasing clouds as we head through the day. Afternoon highs will be a little bit warmer into the upper 60s. Not out of the question to see some spots hit the 70 degree mark. Rain chances around 10% as we could see a stray shower kind of wander back into the area late this afternoon. But most of the rainfall holds off until tonight and tomorrow. Best chances of rain tonight will be in the western counties and parishes overnight. After midnight, most of it's still fairly scattered with overnight lows falling into the low end of the 50s. Still expecting widespread rain across the area on on Thursday. Rain totals generally in the one to three inch range with some higher isolated amounts uh, here and there. A few thunderstorms can't be ruled out, but the severe weather threat remains fairly low. By Friday, the rain becomes more scattered and it could linger into Saturday. In fact, there's another window of opportunity, maybe Friday night, early Saturday morning for a few thunderstorms, but we'll just keep an eye on that. The, the potential and the question marks regarding the forecast are still very much existent as we head through the first half of the weekend. Second half of the weekend looks a little bit more clear, uh, both in forecast confidence and just in sky conditions as highs climb back into the upper 60s to near 70 by Monday. And another cold front could bring storms middle parts of next week, maybe even some stronger storms. We'll keep an eye on that. But the soggy conditions that highlight uh, the Thanksgiving day and Friday are the main focus in the forecast. Big, big, big day tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving. Enjoy that. Let's take care of each other. Check on your neighbors and be kind to each other. NBC News Daily continues now. God bless.